this is Step Up. Okay. So you know how I told you guys that if the Lord gave me anything further that I would present it to you guys. And um, that I would share it with you. And if he laid it on my heart to do so. Okay. So this is exactly what happened tonight. Okay, so it's early in the morning now. But at around 3.30, around that time, I woke up from a very vivid dream. And I think it's very significant. I think it, it's addressing now and the imminency of our Lord's return and And just confirming that we're leaving soon. So I'll share that. I'm going to share this with you for further understanding of the time and encouragement. Okay. So we know that our Lord is, he, he's prophesied that he will come as a thief in the night to those who are not watching. Okay. So this dream addresses that, and it's very, very interesting. So we know his return, it's going to be a sudden return. It's going to be quick. For you know very well that the day of the Lord will come like a thief in the night. While people are saying, peace and safety destruction will come on them suddenly as labor pains on a pregnant woman and they will not escape all right so i'll get into my dream and actually this connects to um another dream I had over a year ago uh, and it and it speaks of the timing also of our Lord's return um, so I'm going to share this one last night this most recent one first and then I'll share the other one and I'll tell you uh, my older dream and I'll tell you how they connect and my interpretation okay so this is what happened in the dream I um, I walked into a room okay and it was a house okay it wasn't my house it didn't look like my place I, I don't know whose place it was. So, in this house, it was like a pigsty, like this. It's just like, oh, all, all trashed, just garbage everywhere, just, just totally disgusting, uh, putrid, filthy mess, okay? So, this, in my dream, represents God's house on the earth, which is his church. So, this is God's house, and it's representing his people, because his people are now his church, okay? The vessels. It's no longer the tabernacle. It's lo no longer a man made building. Okay? It's the church. So this was representing the house of God on earth, the church on earth. And it was filthy. It's filthy. The Lord is showing 
It's a complete mess. It's totally defiled. And it's because the church is defiling themselves. They are making the mess. Because they are not using sound doctrine. They're not studying to show themselves approved. They're not repenting and casting off the works of darkness and turning from sin. They're not, they're not, um, they're not following or trying to submit uh, themselves to Christ. They don't want to listen to any rules. They don't want to be subject to any discipline. So they are just running around like naughty children, creating a mess out of themselves and the body of Christ, the house of God here on the earth. Okay. So, this is really disturbing. And so, I was grossed out. So, I went over to the bed with my son and we sat on the bed because the bed was clean and everything else was a filthy mess. Okay. So, I picked up a vacuum and I tried to start vacuuming up this mess, sucking it up. And I was trying and trying and trying just to clean it up. And I was like, oh my God, I got to clean this. I got to clean this. This is disgusting. I'm like, oh, I can't leave this this way. I can't be around this like this. So I was cleaning it up and, you know, it, it didn't seem to be doing much. The mess, it was so bad that I, I, I just stopped vacuuming. I just said, I can't do it. There's, this is just beyond, I, I can't do this whole thing. I can't clean this whole thing. It's, it's gone. So I went and so I sat on the bed with my son and it's bliss clean. So this represents that we're keeping clean and we weren't sleeping. We didn't go to sleep, but the bed also represents that the, um, in the house, a lot of people, uh, you know, they have the option to sleep. Okay. The church, they, they have the option to sleep. Okay. He, he doesn't, you have a choice. You have free will to submit yourselves to God and to obey him and to listen to him. That makes him the Lord of your life instead of you being the Lord of your life or making something else the Lord of your life. Okay. So we were sitting on the bed and then I, uh, I looked to the windows and I seen the windows. There was two windows on either side of the bed. Okay. Like one here and another one here. They were quite big and they were like cracked, severely cracked all through the glass of the windows. Like kind of like this, just so badly damaged that it looked like it was going to um, fall apart, shatter any second any second without any notice. It's just going to like pop, smash out. And I seen it going into the foundation of the wall. So it was going up into the wall, the cracks, that is, the cracks were going up into the wall. So that was really disturbing. So I was like, oh my goodness, this, this is going to fall. This building, this house is going to fall. This is going to come crumbling down and it's going to just happen any second. And so I looked at my son with that knowledge and I said to him, uh, sweetie, uh, it's okay. You know, it's going to be okay because don't, don't worry because, uh, we're going to be saved. We're going to be saved out of this. We're not going to experience this. You know, we're not going to go through this. And then he, and then my son, 
said to me in the dream, uh, we go up, we go up. And I'm like, yeah, that's right. We, we go up, we're taken up, we're saved out of it. And he said, we go up, they come down. And I was like, yeah, yes, yes, we go up and then, uh, the, the evil ones come down. They come down to the earth. And it felt like we were talking about it like it was a simultaneous event or, you know, quick succession. So that Satan and his, um, representing that Satan and his own fallen angels are going to be kicked out of heaven. Once we go up, it's going to be like a, almost like a simultaneous exchange, right? You know, out with the old and with the new administration. So the window represents that, uh, you know, the time has come to end. Judgment is coming down. And the Lord says, first it comes on his house, and then it goes to the rest of the world. And, you know, I feel like that's why um, America is also being targeted, because that was first the main Christian nation, and it's defiled itself so much. The church now has defiled people who call themselves Christians are not acting as such, and they're not submitting to Christ. They're not making Christ their Lord. They're calling him their Lord, but they're not submitting to him. And they're not um, learning obedience and discipline. And because of that, they're just making everything a mess. They don't know what's right and wrong. And they're calling good evil and evil good. Okay? So, um, then I looked underneath the bed. Oh, sorry. Actually, what happened was, is I looked down on the bed, okay, on the floor, on this messy floor, uh, sorry, around, okay, and then I seen this little worm, and it looked like a snake. It's very tiny. So, that was representing Satan in the church. And he's like a worm, okay? He and his own, his legion are many, and they're like worms. They just sneak in there. And I knew he was, that that's what was convincing uh, the body of Christ, that they could defile themselves and still be found holy. And that's not true. If you study the word to show yourself approved, you'll find that out. Okay, so, um, so that was confirming that, and so then I took a towel, okay, oops, sorry guys, I took a white, oh, so I took a white towel that I had with me, it seemed like it was on me, or I was carrying it with me. And I started to, sorry, I started to whip the snake with this towel. And this snake was like, you see the size of the hand? I was that big and this, this little snake worm was this, this size. So I kept, that means, that by the way, that shows you the power we have over Satan. And we have dominion over him. Okay. So my video is going to cut out here, so I'm going to make this in part two, so I'll see you there. Thanks for watching.